this class, we are going to be teaching a wide range of, we are going to be teaching four different methods of solving partial differential equations. Finite difference, finite volume, finite element, and boundary element methods. Each method has its own strengths and weaknesses. Right? And uh, uh, we are going to also discuss more advanced topics like uh, direct and iterative solution methods that are very important because once you, you are not going to be solving the partial differential equations in this differential form, you're going to convert the problem approximately, right? into a set of equations the computer actually knows how to solve. And uh, uh, computers are not very good at doing continuous stuff, right? They are only good at doing discrete stuff. So you're going to discretize the differential equations in, into a set of equations. But the thing is, the more accurate you want the approximation to be, the bigger the set of equations the computer has to solve. And when the equations get bigger and bigger, uh, you need the better solution methods. You can't rely on, for example, uh, MATLAB to just uh, solve these equations for you. We're also going to be doing error analysis and sensitivity analysis to figure out how approximate, how much approximation we are making when, the, when we ask computer to uh, approximate to the continuous equations with discrete math. Okay, um, so in terms of the format of this class, there is good news, that is no exams. There is no problem sets. But uh, it's actually, it doesn't mean this class is gonna be easy. Actually, pretty much the opposite. <laughs> uh, because, uh, um, Expect a lot of coding and debugging, and even if you are already good at coding, what I found is uh, uh, being able to code and uh, debug and uh, troubleshoot a numerical code requires, I mean, it does require the set of skills of debugging regular code, but it requires additional set of skills because your code may not work, not because it has a segmentation fault or it has a compilation error or, or, or something, right? It may not work by just uh, having the numbers slowly grow into infinity, right? Or it just produces the wrong result. So how do you debug things like that is going to be an important skill you are going to learn in this class. And there is no way to learn that except for actually working on it, program something. So there will be, uh, not eight, five project sets. Mm -hmm. So for each of these four methods, we are going to have a, have a, have a project. Okay, uh, find a difference, find a volume, find an element, find a uh, boundary element. So. At around, uh, so covering these four topics is going to be about 70% of this entire class. The rest 30% is on advanced uh, uh, techniques, basically making you better at using all of these four methods in solving problems. And by the time we finish the boundary element project, you are pretty equipped in thinking about how can I apply what I have learned to a problem of your interest, okay? Uh, I, 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 think, uh, I think it'll be great for me to later in the class get a, like a count of what people are interested in, what topic uh, you are actually are interested in. To basically, I, I like you to design your own project. So this is the last one, this is the fifth project, a custom design project. And uh, let me go to the calendar. So we are going to have lectures mostly on Mondays and Wednesdays. But there are two classes, I think, at, uh, at the moment that we have to reschedule to a Friday at the same time. Does that uh, work for you? Like, anybody has a conflict at this time on Fridays? 
Uh, I mean, the, the schedule, I mean, so three and a half. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit uh, hard to actually beat that. So I'm, I'd apologize to those who can't make these uh, two classes on Fridays. But what, I'm, what I'll do is, uh, you see I'm recording the lecture, so, so I'll post the, the lecture recording on YouTube and you can watch them through. Okay. So right now, for example, I think uh, there is a Wednesday class we are missing. There is a, 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 another Wednesday class we are missing early October. They are scheduled to uh, make up uh, uh, on respective Fridays. Do, 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 veterans Day. Oh, okay. Uh, if that is the case, I have to remake the schedule. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. so, so, so it'll be rescheduled to a Friday. Yeah, that's a, okay. So thanks for the, thanks for the pointer. Yeah. So I'll, I'll make sure I don't schedule it to a, uh, a holiday. Okay. Uh, what I want to point out to you is uh, the column, is this column. So next Monday, we will have project one out. So the project one is due two weeks after it's out. And projects are due like uh, before class. So, so 9.30, uh, when you submit the, the project, uh, there is going to be a submission time. It's, uh, uh, you can look at the late policy on, online. Basically, don't, don't be late uh, on submitting <laughs> your, your project. Yes? Yes, uh, uh, the office hours this year, my office hour is going to be on Mondays uh, right after class. Right, and uh, uh, the TA is still TBA, so we, we don't have a, a, a TA yet, but like uh, the TA should also have uh, additional office hours. And we'll try to schedule them to be closer to when the projects are, are, are due. Usually that's the time when people run into box, oh my god, my code doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, so hopefully we will, uh, I mean, it's, it's not, uh, we, we can, I, I don't have any magic to make your code work. So, I mean, most of the work you still have to do it yourself. Uh, but like, uh, uh, sometimes if there are, if it's a common problem, maybe we can help. Yes. Do you care what language we use to write our projects in? Right. So traditionally everybody is required to write code in MATLAB. Anybody strongly against that? <laughs> One, two. Okay, two people strongly against L3. Okay, so what language would you use r instead? Python? Uh, Python? Or Julia. Or Julia? So either Python or Julia would be. I, uh, uh, so, so Python or so So you, you, you three people, can you, can you have a vote to those who vote for Python? Who, who vote for Julia? Okay. Uh, so let's see. I'll, I'll make it ma make it uh, Python or MATLAB. Okay, so so Python or MATLAB. I think uh, I think it's uh, it's easy to find people who can grade Python. Uh, Julia, I'm not so sure. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, good, good. So, so that's that's good. Uh, project one out, project two, uh, and uh, I'll uh, so so. Project two is on finite volume. So, so the, the goal is basically every time a project is out, you should be able to start working on it uh, as soon as it's out and uh, make significant progress on it. Uh, don't, you don't have to wait till uh, the end of, for example, the finite volume lectures before you start on the project. And the project are, are I mean, they, they are supposed to take significant amount of time. Uh, it's uh, for, for those who are used to like undergraduate type of projects, uh, this is a, uh, this is kind of a step step change. <laughs> okay, and okay. So so what's important is the custom projects. As you can see, by November eighth, you are pretty much uh, gone through all these methods, and you should have a sense of what methods are good or feasible at least uh, for what kind of problems. So you should uh, start thinking what problems you want to propose for your custom project. So for custom project, uh, basically one week after the project four is due, I'll ask you to write a short proposal, uh, nothing fancy, just uh, uh, one or two paragraphs. But like, uh, what's important is that uh, you, I'd like you to 
basically explain clearly, make sure I can understand uh, what problems you want to solve and uh, what progress you expect to make in the midterm. So, so this is uh, the midterm is uh, one and a half weeks after the proposal is due and uh, what final results you uh, expect to have. Right, so this is uh, basically just uh, having <coughs> enough information for me to understand uh, what, what you are doing. <laughs> okay, and uh, uh, I mean the, the goal of the midterm report is really prevent you, I mean because by that time I expect your other classes is going to be taking uh, your, your time. Uh, basically I, I like you to avoid situations where okay I have three weeks I'll wait till the last week <laughs> to start the, the uh, numerical PDE project and and on the final day uh, custom project presentation so so it's a little bit uh, I, I don't know how many people we have right now it's a little bit more I mean the class seems to be a little bit more than what I see in the in the registration um, uh, I'll see. Um, may, uh, let, let's see how many people we have. Maybe we end up will have to do group projects as opposed to individual projects for the for the custom project. So we will see how many people we have. Uh, basically, we don't want to. Um, yeah, we, we. I think we will need more time than just uh, the class time, one and a half hours. But I don't want to be like four hours or, or something like that for the project presentation. So, so we we will see uh, how many people end up deciding to take this class. Oh, one one, one more thing. I will post the materials on this site called uh, learningmodules.mit.edu. If you are registered as uh, either if you are re either registered or a listener, you have uh, uh, it will show up on learningmodules.mit.edu uh, on the I think on the main page. But like no matter, even if you are not registered or listeners, uh, you can basically look for this class on learning modules, and you still have access to it. Okay, uh, the the I'll post uh, everything in the material section, so you can uh, take a look at it. For example, general has general information, collaboration policy about the projects, tentative schedule, which I'm going to revise uh, on for the Friday. And uh, we posted a bunch of reading materials, uh, things that are kind of partially covered but not completely covered in the lecture. You can read more about it uh, in here. So these are finite difference ones. I have posted all of them and uh, the over overviews. Uh, later I will post the finite volume, finite element, etc. For every lecture, we will make uh, a separate folder containing a link to the videos and uh, uh, the notes I write in class. A different website is called uh, piazza.com. Uh, how many people have received uh, emails from them? Okay, good, good, so most people. If you haven't, uh, uh, let me know, I'll add you on to this. So this is really for questions and answers. Um, if you have a question, uh, Please post it over here instead of emailing it to me or to the TA, right? Because uh, uh, this way, not only you can benefit from it, everybody else who is looking at this is going to benefit from it. I mean, if you're uncomfortable showing your identity, you can post it anonymously if you want. Uh, but like uh, for, for any questions, uh, ask over here as opposed to emailing to me. And also, you are very, very much encouraged to answer the questions of other people over here, right? So, so for every project, uh, I mean, traditionally, I uh, assign like a, a two percent of uh, the project as kind of a participation score. If you if you are active in answering the questions from other people, I'll basically give you that two percent uh, for for the project. So this is a. Uh, uh, this is basically additional motivation for you to answer people's questions because like through the answering you can also answer anonymously if you're not comfortable about that. <laughs> so so this is a this is a very many people find this very useful yeah.